Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can program our reset button for our Project 1.8 Build-A-Body app. When programming the reset button, we have to think about a few key items that need to be reset back to its original state. Now at the moment, we're only going to focus on those main features that are required in the design brief. Later on, we'll go ahead and add the additional features to the reset button as needed. So for right now, what we need to think about is what actually needs to be reset when that reset button is clicked. One of the first things we have to think about is our score. And in order to reset the score back to its original state, not only do we need to reset the score label back to zero, but we also need to go ahead and reset our global score variable back to zero as well. Four other items that have to be reset are your actual organ systems. So your respiratory system, digestive system, urinary system, and brain all need to be placed back to the original locations on the canvas. Now there are a few other items that we went ahead and either enabled or disabled going forward in a previous tutorial. Those are the brain, digestive, respiratory, and urinary system placements. We made them invisible when one of the organ systems collides with the correct location. Because those placement dots are invisible, we'll need to go ahead and make sure that they are turned back on so that when the app is reset, we can see those dots on the screen. Some of the other things we need to look at is the organ systems themselves and allowing them to be able to move. When they conduct, can collide, uh, When those systems collided with the correct placement, we disabled the ability for those organs to actually move. So we'll need to go back and make sure that those organ systems are enabled again so that we can move them or drag them across the screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that reset button can be programmed in our app. So one of the first things we need to do is pull in an event handler. And what we're focusing on is the actual button. So we're going to go down and find our reset button and we're going to go ahead and choose when the reset button is clicked. So when your reset button is clicked, something needs to happen. So one of the first things we're going to look at is our score. And in order to set that score back to the original state, we're going to first focus on the variable itself. So we're going to go ahead and grab our set variable and we're going to select our global score and we're going to reset that back to its original state, which is zero. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I see is that the variable is set back to zero, but the label is still saying whatever that final number was the last time you did your app. So we need to make sure that we also go down to our score label. And we're going to go ahead and set that score labels text so that that goes back to its original state. In order for that to happen, we're going to bring in another text box. And we're just simply going to go ahead and type in there score colon space zero. Now that your score is set back to the original state, we can look at some of the other features that are needed. So let's take a look at how we can actually take the organ systems and move them back to the original location. So in order to do that, we're going to find our organ system and we're going to start with the brain and we're going to grab that move to block with your X, Y positions. For those X, Y positions, we're going to focus on those variables that we set earlier on in our setting up our, our variable lesson. In order to do that, we're going to grab our variables and we're going to go ahead and get. For this one, we'll find our brain and make sure we grab the brain or the original brain X. And we'll do the same thing here, but this time we're going to grab the original brain Y. Now moving forward, we can go ahead and duplicate that. But now we're going to focus on the digestive system. So again, we want to find the original digestive system X with the original digestive system Y. And we'll duplicate that again. And this time, let's go ahead and select our respiratory system. Make sure we change our X so that it's the original respiratory X and our original respiratory Y. And one more time, let's go ahead and add our urinary system. So we'll select the urinary system, make sure we grab the urinary system X and urinary system Y. So now that we are able to reset all of our actual organ systems back to the original location, now we wanna go ahead and focus on the actual placements for each organ system. We wanna make sure that those organ systems are now visible. 
So now we can go ahead and grab the brain placement. And for our brain placement, we're going to go ahead and set the visibility so that it is true. So grabbing our set visibility, we're going to make sure we have brain placement visible. And under our logic, we're going to go ahead and put the true statement. Now that we have our true statement, we're going to go need to go ahead and duplicate that three more times. Make sure we change our placements so that they reflect the replacement that we want to be able to change. So here we have our brain placement, digestive system placement, respiratory system placement, and the urinary system placement as well. And one of the last things we need to add is we're going to actually change whether or not our systems can actually move. So we're going to do this by going to our brain and we're going to find the brain enabled. And we're going to go ahead and set that brain enabled. Now for this, we're actually going to go ahead and set this to false. And the reason why we're going to do this is because when we code our start button, we're going to basically use our start button as a way for us to start being able to move those across the screen. That comes in handy when you're using your timer or your clock in order to kind of keep track of the time. So we're going to go ahead and disable these. So there's going to be no way for us to actually move these once we hit reset until we actually hit the start button. So in order to do that, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this again a few times. And then we're going to go ahead and change that to our digestive system, our respiratory system, and the urinary system. So now we basically have our reset button programmed where it should work. Now what you will see on the app is if we move our actual devices or our actual organs to the locations, everything will snap back into place. Now when we hit the reset button, what we're looking for is that those organs actually go back to the original location. And in this case, they do. What you'll also know that we now can see those placement dots as well. So again, if we take our actual organs and try to move them, they're no longer able to move. And the reason for that is because we went ahead and made them enable to false. Now, later on, we're going to go ahead and look at hitting that start button. And when we program that start button, what will happen is those organ systems will now be enabled again where they can move.